Hi, welcome to another edition of Easy Theory. Let's actually work on some examples of regexes here. So remember that a regex from last time is one of the these six forms, where these are the base cases, these are the inductive cases, and they allow us to describe in a formal way what a language is. So instead of just writing it in English, which might not be formal. Okay, so let's do some examples. So let's do the ones, uh, so all strings over sigma to be 0, 1 that contain a 1. Okay, so here's an example. All strings over, it's over all binary strings, I guess, that contain a 1. So basically everything that doesn't have a 0 in it. So, uh, how can we actually write this? Well, let's actually think about this in a different way. So, if we're generating a string and it contains a 1, what we need to ask ourselves is, whenever we have these contain types of questions, what could appear on either side of the 1 here? So, here, because as long as it contains a 1, we don't really care what else happens. So here on the left and the right side of the one, we could have anything. So in this case, we can have anything. This case, we can again have anything. So one thing to note is that whenever we have a case of anything, that means zero union one star. It, or if you have any other alphabet, is you union all the characters in the alphabet star. So these anys are going to be a 0 union 1 star. So this one is also 0 union 1 star. And so therefore the final regex, so the final regex here is 0 union 1 star to represent all of the stuff at the beginning, followed by the 1, and then followed by anything after that. So 0 union 1 star, 1, 0 union 1 star. And that would be perfectly fine. But, uh, and it would be interesting to see, is there another way that you can do this particular language? Let's do another example. So, yeah, so, so in fact there is another way you can do this. In fact, infinitely many ways we can do this particular regex and try to think of how you would actually do infinitely many ways of doing it. Here's an example. Um, so again, oops, all strings having exactly uh, uh, two ones. Again, the, I haven't cooked this example. This is, I'm thinking of this on the fly. So, it's all strings having exactly two ones. Well, now we have a slightly different scenario, but let's imagine that we have a string with exactly two ones. So at some point we're gonna see one of the ones, and then maybe later, maybe right after, it depends, we'll see another occurrence of one, and then otherwise. Well here, these three uh, ellipses, I guess, can have any, not just anything, they can't have any ones themselves. Because if, if say, this section has a one, then that means the string we've just made has three ones, and that violates the condition we need. So, in fact, these three parts can have only zeros. But there's nothing specifying how many zeros appear in each of the parts because all that we require is that we have exactly two ones. So if it's only zeros in each of the three spots, then all we need to do is just have zero star on the thing. So in fact, the regex for this one is going to be zero star one, zero star one, okay? So uh, what is another example that we could do? Well. Another thing that we could do is an example that we've done several times on this channel, which is the all the even length strings. So 
uh, yeah, yeah. So let's do another example. Um, all even length strings. So length zero, length two, length four, etc. Well, something you could try, although it won't work, is to say, well, the regex is going to be uh, the empty string union zero zero union zero one union one zero union one one union and then just keep going like that but that's not a formal way of writing because this regex is now infinitely long and well you got to make make precise what this um, ellipsis really means but even if you did that would still be infinitely long regex which is not something you're allowed to do so what we need to do is to think, well, what is common between these? Well, let's see. What we know is that if we have a, an uh, even length uh, string, what we know is that you can break the string into uh, length two segments. So you can divide the whole string into length two segments because we know that the string length is even. If it was odd, then you would get stuck at the end. So what can actually go in each of these three spots? Maybe I'll stick a purple. So let's just look at a particular spot because the other ones are completely independent from each other. So whatever goes in the first and second characters has nothing to do with what happens in the third and fourth characters. So we might as well just look at an individual piece by itself and then apply the star on top of that because we, we can just have this repeat as many times as we want. Each of these segments could appear as many times as we want. So what does each of these look like? Well, e each one of these has two characters. And so what we can do is, in, within those two characters, the first doesn't depend on what the second is, nor vice versa. So for each one of these, it could be, 0 union 1 for the first character concatenated with 0 union 1 for the second character. And this works because this, if you expand it out, will generate all four possibilities that you can get from two characters. So to get the whole thing, all that we need to do is to drop a big old star on top of this. So it's not the prettiest one in the world, but it does get the job done because it says we have two characters in here that you can apply as many times as you want. And the star, um, you just generate some string out of this and then you apply star. The next time you go through, you can pick something completely different, which is exactly what we wanted here. Cool. So you can do something similar with um, all strings that are a length, a multiple of three, you can do, well, let's do one more. So how about uh, all strings that start with the same uh, start and end, I should say. Start and end with the same character. So if it starts with a zero, it must end with a zero. And if it starts with one, it must end with a one. And uh, again, we uh, have a, could have a debate on whether to put the empty string in here. Let's not put it in this time. So now we, again, got to think, what are the possibilities that could occur? Well, if we have the first possibility, which is it starts with a zero, then eventually it must end with a zero. But... There's nothing specifying what could occur, what can occur in the middle. So this one can be anything, and we've done anything before. Similarly with ones. If it starts with a one, it must end with a one, but the part in the middle could, could again be anything. So what we can do then is, and, and since these two cases are completely disjoint from each other, you can't have a string that's in both, you can just union the two here. Although it doesn't really matter. So the regex we would get out of this is, well, we got to make a regex for the first piece. And we know how to do that because we have the zero at the front and the end and the anything in the middle. And then take that union 
than the other piece, which is one uh, zero union one star one. Because we got if it starts with a one, it must end with a one, but anything can appear in the middle. Okay, so I hope that was interesting. Leave uh, in the comments some other regex that you found interesting. As uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Commenting really, really helps, so please comment. And as always, I'll see you next time.